Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's good to have you here. In this video, we'll be looking at how to make starter motor current draw test. Here we have a tester that is used to test the starter motor current draw. We'll hook it up and see how the starter motor current draw test is performed. So whenever you have a problem with the starting system, the first thing to suspect is when the vehicle is not cranking properly and vehicle is not starting well, the first thing to inspect is the condition of the battery. So you have to make sure the battery is in good condition. It should have at least a voltage of 12.6. So usually when there is bad cranking, the first thing to suspect is the battery. And once the battery is determined to be good and still the vehicle is not cranking properly, you should check your battery connections. If there is loose battery terminal, if there is loose connection at the battery terminals, that will also cause poor cranking. And as a result, vehicle will be very resistant to start. Then if those checked and uh, if those are in good condition, then proceed to checking your starter motor. One way of checking the starter motor is to test the current draw of the starter motor. So in this video, I will demonstrate how to make a starter motor current draw test. Now, depending on how you are making a current draw test, the starter motor test can be determined as no load test and load test. No load is when there is no load on the starter motor, when it is removed from the vehicle and current draw is tested. That is called the no load current draw test. But when the vehicle is being cranked by the starter motor when the current draw is being tested that is called load test in the load test we will be using this starter motor it is hooked up on a four cylinder diesel engine let's connect it and see how much current it draws and by comparing to the specification you can decide whether the starter motor is in good condition or in bad shape now for this test we are going to use this tester this is the set the tester that we are going to use uh, on the back there is an instruction always make sure that you read the instruction whenever using this this kind of device instruction is here let me zoom in so that you can read it there is a connection diagram the battery negative has to be disconnected and then one terminal of the tester goes to the battery negative and the other goes to the lead that is disconnected and the red lead goes to battery positive so this is how it is hooked up and then there are selection ranges to be selected depending on the amount of current that is expected you can select this selector if it is a small current and push it to the left it is large current you can push it to the right and depending on the current flow direction you can select if the ammeter jumps down this way you have to change the position of this and depending on the voltage that is being tested you can either select 32 volt or 16 volt now because I'm using it on a 12 volt system I will put it in 16 volt and this one will read the voltage this will act as a voltmeter so when the load is being applied you can read the voltage as well and the lower one is where we read current we will be reading our ampere on that scale now let's connect it so this is battery positive battery positive coming from the vehicle make sure that the connection is not loose well this is somewhat loose connected battery positive then when it comes to this tester this will go to the battery negative terminal this I'll put it here and this goes to battery positive So you can see it is reading battery voltage now 12 volt okay let me put it right here 
and this goes to the battery negative terminal. I'll connect it such a way. So the idea is, so this device has a current measuring mechanism right here, here. Here is a current measuring mechanism that will connect to the device here and it will measure the starter motor current. So, let me crank. Just look at the voltage and current it reads when I crank. Well, there is a range selector here, current range selector. You have 20, 200, and 600 ampere. And because this is a diesel engine, let's put it on 600. You can move this knob and let's put it on 600 and see the current reading. Because I have now put it on 600, I'll be using the black scale. So this is how it is done. As you can see, it has rating of around 300 ampere. Because the range selector is on 600, we will be using the black scale, which runs from 0 to 600. Let's do it more again, and you will look at this amperage. So this is how you perform a starter motor ampere draw test. So the, reading, the reading is close to 300. And Let me show you the connection once again. The black cable is connected to battery negative. The small red wire is connected to battery positive. And the blue wire is connected to the battery cable that goes to the body. Here you can see the battery negative is coming to connect it to the engine frame. So this is how it is connected. We have inserted an ammeter in series to the starter motor so that the current draw can be performed. Now by taking this reading and comparing it to a specification, you can clearly see whether the starter motor is in good condition or not. So this is how it is done. The voltage reading can be selected here. For example, it is on 32 now. If it is on 32, we will be using the black scale. Now, if I put it on 16, on 16 volt, I'll be using the red scale. It's reading 12 point something. Here is a starter motor reading, current reading. Because the range is now selected to 600, we will be using the black scale. When the range is somewhere in 200, we will be using the red scale which is in the middle. So this way you can do starter motor current draw test. Let's do the current draw test one last time so that you can look at how it is done. Closely look at the reading on the ammeter. So this is how you can perform starter motor current draw test.
Now, in another video, we'll be looking at a comparison between uh, the no load current test and the full load current test. Starter motors draw small current when they are not loaded, when it is no load tested. But when it is loaded, for example, when it is on an engine of this kind, it will draw large current. That comparison will be presented in another video. So, dear viewers, this is how you can perform a starter motor current draw test. The method is similar. With the, the method is similar for almost every engine. All you have to do is connect an ammeter to the system and then do a cranking test. But before doing that test, make sure that the engine will not start. For example, on this engine, we have disconnected the solenoid power supply to the injection pump so that it will not be started when doing the performance test. So this way you can do current draw test on the starter motor by preventing the vehicle from starting. If you are doing it on a gasoline engine, you can disconnect the ignition system or you can disconnect the fuel pump circuit so that the engine will not be started. And whenever you are doing a starter motor test of this kind, make sure that you crank it for a period of time only. Over cranking that can lead to overheating and damage to the starter motor parts. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay 